Visitors and participants were thrilled to be a part of the festivities. They bear their minds on the spectacle before them. This is my first time of witness uh, Ilara Zone. We have been witness a lot of a lot before. Ekpe, Kila Jolu, Iwokwe, Ode Waterside, where my father come from. It's been very interesting, and it's a culture. So I'm very happy to be here today. This is my first time of witness this. Lara, when I, I was here before, when I was very young, with uh, a lot of a lot of no, yeah, Baba, the Elara Boye, Mojoda, Noforija, Boka, they are my father, my family. The Permanent Secretary of Lagos State's Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture expressed her appreciation for the occasion of the festival relaying the warm regards of the governor, Mr. Babajide Sonwolu, and expressing her ministry's support for future festivities like the Ebi Festival, which offers significant tourism potentials. Yeah, I think um, the festival is such a unique one, um, particularly coming from an ancient town of Ilara, uh, which is over 600 years old town. Um, what you realize is that um, this town is about to witness something different from what has been happening before. Um, from what I've seen so far, KBC seems to be interested in developing that festival, you know, in a way that it, could, it will attract um, uh, economic prosperity, that is, to promote um, cultural tourism, uh, which is what I think the KBC is trying to do. It's trying to expand and showcase the festival in a way that um, people will be able to benefit more and more from it economically. It has its own significance apart from um, exhibit, exhibiting our culture. You realize that the people, the involvement of the community, of the people, of the youth, they tend to believe in it because it's a cleansing process for the town. It's a very significant and buoyant cultural event. It's traditional, it's holding on to our values. It's holding on to what we call authenticity of a culture, and it is in celebrating it year in, year out, that we are able to pass on the touch to the generation that is coming, so that the influx of the Western world does not rub off our traditional values and ethos. And so for us, the very significant, in particularly being a ministry that holds on to culture as our name implies, Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture. So it is very significant for us to be here to identify with the KBAC, to identify with the people of Ilara and to also let them know that whatever it is that represents culture, we are here with them because we want to uphold culture. The next day, as the festival continued, the Oni, as usual, arrived with much fanfare and jubilation. As the esteemed guest of the event, the Oni was ushered to his seat, melodious stewards from Queen Salawa Abeni, the legendary Waka Queen, serenaded the gathered crowd. <laughs> The chief host, Oba Ogunsomu, thanked the Oni, the Alaran Council, and other guests for coming, maintaining the significance of this year's event 
as the first one he would preside over since his ascension to the throne last year. Ojaja II, the Onirisa of Ileife, the other royal fathers here present, I also greet my friend from all the way from Anambra State, the Igwe of Nanka in Anambra State. He's a paramount ruler. He came all the way to come and celebrate with us today. We appreciate you, Igwe, and his uh, amiable wife. We want to thank you very much for honoring our invitation. Uh, the member House of Representatives here present, our permanent secretary, our high chiefs, I especially recognize the Agbaoye of Ibadoland, Oloye Kola Karim, the host of today, the chairman of Eredo LCDA, and his amiable wife, we, I recognize you. And all our special guests that came from far and near to come and felicitate with us today. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, they are here in their large numbers, and I will not take this goodwill for granted. Thank you very much since yesterday. You have done wonderfully. I appreciate you. On behalf of the Alara of Ilara Kingdom, which is myself and the Olori, and the Alara in Council, the Bale in Council, all the honorary chiefs of Ilara Kingdom, I want to welcome all of you to the ancient town of Ilara Kingdom. You all agree with me that today is a day of joy. Today is a day of fulfillment for this kingdom. Today is a day of testimony. Today is a day that will go into the annals of the history of the ancient town of Ilara Kingdom that something spectacular happened. I give God Almighty the glory for making today possible. More prayers were offered by the Oni for everyone. <laughs> Like <laughs> Wani Ambo Orisha Orisha Oke No ni Olodumare Ti Bobo Orisha Ile Mfori Ba Le Fu Oni Ba Ta Anshe Ni Bobo Ba O No Ni Ba Ti Bobo Orisha Anshe Orisha Da Eni Ti Owe To Uwe To Uyo Gong Gong O No Ni Orisha Mudubelo <laughs> 
tutu tutu la man bale no eja ile oluwe ri o beri o tutu tutu la man ba ni ile alakan aseye lo man se po e ni agbara olorun olodumare ara oni ni o KBSC was full of confidence for the blessings which would accrue from this year's EBI Festival. Maintaining his desire to partner with the Lagos State Government in upgrading the EBI Festival to a potential money-spinning tourism event, even as he thanked everyone for coming. As the Arni departed for home, the people were glad for his visit. They continued their celebrations long after his departure, in the firm belief that his visit would be more than enough to usher in many blessings for the town, now and in the future to come. Social media platforms at Echo Outlook. I am Kende Bashir. Thanks for watching.